you can use any front end framework you want, but we're gonna be using Bootstrap. We're gonna be pulling this in and using it to style up any components we create, like our form. So if we hit download Bootstrap, I'm over on getbootstrap.com, we can actually pull this in from a content delivery network rather than downloading the files ourselves. You might want to download the files eventually and then just require them in, but for now, we're just going to pull in this file from the Mac CDN content delivery network. So I'm gonna copy this part here. And remember, because we now have a template, if we paste this in here, it will be shared by anything we extend this from. So already, if we just go over to our page and refresh, you can see that we have a difference. The fonts changed, the margin or padding on the body has changed, and we are now ready to start using Bootstrap. And that's on any pages we create. So very quickly, let's just create the container that will wrap all of our content. So this is part of the Bootstrap framework. All I'm going to do is create a div with a class of container and our content that we pull from a block on each page we create will go within this container. So you can see here that all that's done is it will just pull this in a little bit. And now we're ready to just start working on any individual page.